Cardiac resynchronization therapy is usually done by biventricular pacing with a right ventricular lead and a left ventricular lead in a coronary vein. This often results in relatively broader QRS complex and suboptimal response. A new approach is the use of left bundle branch area pacing in lieu of the usual right ventricular lead and coronary venous left ventricular pacing. This novel approach has been called left bundle branch optimized cardiac resynchronization therapy. International LBBAP collaborative study group assessed the feasibility of LBBAP optimized CRT in non-consecutive patients with CRT indications. Addition of the left bundle branch area or coronary venous lead was at the discretion of the implanting physician who was guided by suboptimal paced QRS complex and or on clinical grounds. LOT CRT was successful in 91 of 112 patients attempted with 81% success. At baseline, left bundle branch block was present in 47 patients, non-specific intraventricular conduction delay in 25, right ventricular pacing in 26, and right bundle branch block in 14. Mean left ventricular ejection fraction was 28.7%. Mean fluoroscopy time was 27.3 minutes. QRS complex was significantly narrower with LOTCRT. Left ventricular ejection fraction improved to a mean of 37% at follow-up after 3 months and there was decrease in left ventricular and diastolic diameter and anti-proBNP levels. NYHA functional class also improved. Another related procedure is his optimized cardiac resynchronization therapy or hot CRT. In a study, 19 patients with standard indication for CRT, his optimized cardiac resynchronization therapy was tested. It was found to improve ventricular electrical synchrony beyond biventricular pacing and multipoint pacing. Here are the relevant journal references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.